The Federal and Devaki Speciality Hospital jointly present the Madurai Marathon 2024 Run for Health on Sunday, October 20th, 2024. Entry is free for all. Hello, viewers. The Chandra Babu Naidu government in Andhra Pradesh has announced a new liquor policy. Several changes have been announced, but how does it compare to the new Delhi liquor policy that was introduced by the Kejriwal government and then scrapped? The Federal's business editor, Mr. Giri Prakash, is here to compare the two policies. Uh, Giri, my my first question to you is like, what are the highlights of this new liquor policy announced by uh, the Chandra Babu Naidu government? We must first understand that the Andhra Pradesh liquor policy, the the, the newly introduced one, um, is quite different from the previous one. And uh, we should also understand the fact that Andhra Pradesh is one of the uh, um, highest uh, liquor consuming states in the country. Uh, in fact, um, the highest consumption of beer happens in Andhra Pradesh and several uh, beer companies actually look forward to uh, or uh, look upon Andhra Pradesh government to drive their growth. Okay. Now, that has now completely changed and uh, the Andhra Pradesh new liquor policy focus is on privatization. And obviously, uh, the Andhra Pradesh government expects that uh, this will increase revenue. Uh, at the same time, uh, they also want that it is still under state control. So, uh, in a very unique manner, uh, it combines uh, private uh, and state ownership with uh, licenses being awarded through a lottery system. And also, uh, they are thrown in uh, something called a 10% uh, uh, of the entire uh, privatization process to go to uh, the toddy tappers. Uh, and uh, they're, they're called uh, uh, Gita Kulalu uh, uh, under that scheme. So uh, it, it, there is a bit of uh, social kind of um, factor also weaved into this policy. And uh, they have they also uh, decided that they will have uh, um, uh, a lot of, um, you know, uh, with the support of the NGOs, they will have, uh, they will promote safe uh, consumption practices and uh, awareness through de-addiction camps and public health campaigns. Well, the Delhi liquor policy seems similar to the one that was hastily scrapped after the lieutenant governor took exception. Do you think there are similarities between the two policies? See, the biggest similarity uh, between the two uh, policies is privatization. Uh, and also uh, the uh, Delhi liquor policy at that time uh, was aimed at modernizing the liquor trade in Delhi uh, by transmission to a, uh, you know, privatized system. That's where the similarity in some ways ends. There, the Delhi government decided that they are going to get out of the entire liquor uh, business altogether and their involvement will be zero. And it is a private, uh, uh, you know, vendors who will actually uh, uh, run the, uh, you know, those uh, retail shops and all that. And uh, and uh, another similarity was the uh, bidding process. So both of them uh, have this, had this bidding process. Andhra Pradesh government also has, has a bidding process in place. And uh, so, so the the, the 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 entire process was as so the delhi liquor policy is concerned was very transparent in nature you could anybody could bid there was a, a bidding fee and all that and uh, whoever was the highest bidder would get it get the money get the uh, you know uh, licenses and all that stuff the same thing goes with uh, the andhra pradesh uh, government's new liquor policy as well and but there are other things uh, that are part of the uh, daily liquor policy. It not only, it, it wanted uh, that, the, the government wanted that um, people should uh, have a good experience of buying liquor. You know, they wanted uh, to have a very high-end consumer experience with modernized retail stores, uh, like the way the Karnataka government has it here. And uh, of course, the objective was similar in terms of revenue uh, and tracking down on liquor mafia, uh, all that stuff. Uh, what happened with the Delhi liquor policy was uh, soon after it was introduced, 
actually the revenues of the uh, Delhi government from the uh, liquor sales really, really went up. <clears throat> so that was a very big positive for the Delhi liquor policy. What, what, what were the primary goals of the Delhi excise policy, the 2021-22 the Delhi excise policy and the Andhra liquor policy that's been introduced now? So how do you see their approaches are to achieving the goals altogether? Let's do a bit of a deep dive and let us look at the retail structure of uh, both the policies. Now, in as far as Delhi is concerned, the policy removed the government's role in retail sales, shifting all retail operations to private entities. Okay, and the state was divided into 32 zones, each managed by a private vendor. So there were 32 licenses that were given. Okay, now there were subcategories also. So totally there were some. Uh, 849 to 850 retailers, uh, retail licenses were issued to private players, and the government run shops were completely phased out. Let me repeat this uh, to you in case there's some bit of confusion. The state was divided into 32 zones, each managed by retail vendors, private vendors, and a total of around 850 retail licenses were issued to private play players. They it also introduced super premium vents and micro breweries promoting a high end retail experience. Right now, let us look at the retail structure of the uh, new Andhra Pradesh uh, liquor policy. Here, the government retains a role in regulation and control, and even with private licenses, there are a total of 3,736 shops with 3,396 in the open category and. 340 reserved for, uh, as I had mentioned earlier, Gita Kulalu. Okay, the government uses a lottery system for license allocation with strict control over licensing, distribution, and pricing. Please remember, in Canada government also, uh, the pricing is decided by the state government. In in uh, in Andhra Pradesh government also, the pricing is decided by the state government, which means that liquor manufacturers have to go to the Andhra Pradesh government, petition to the government say we want an increase of five percent ten percent fifteen percent and the other period government says okay fine we'll give you this because the raw material uh, prices have gone up or whatever in case or they might even reject it this is how the system works in karnataka and this is how system works in Andhra Pradesh. why am i using the karnataka model uh, among all the states in the country uh, Andhra Pradesh and karnataka are the ones which drive the liquor sales okay the, the, the one of the two primary markets uh, in the country now, coming back to the Andhra Pradesh government, the, uh, the the policy also here includes premium stores in major cities, which caters to uh, high-end consumers. Uh, and let me get into the revenue and taxation. Delhi obviously introduced a competitive bidding process for licenses with a fixed margin for private wholesalers and retailers. You know they, you know whether whether there is uh, less sales or more sales, you will get a certain margin for that and the retail margins are fixed at 12 percent which actually <laughs> resulted in allegations of kickbacks and cartelization right and the revenues increased uh, initially but there were a lot of criticism due to alleged irregularities and apparently it had led to a losses of around a 580 to 600 crores uh, as reported by the chief secretary of the uh, delhi state government here, as far as the Andhra Pradesh government is concerned, the revenues managed through a structured retail excise tax, okay, which is categorized by um, population slabs. I mean, for this population, there is a there is a certain excise tax kind of thing, and uh, and the license is fixed for a certain number of years, maybe two, two, three years, and they are increased annually by ten percent during the policy period. The retail excise tax, uh, which is also called RET, is to be paid in six installments and each year and a security deposit equivalent to one installment uh, has to be deposited to the state government. The margin for Delhi was 12%, here it is 20% on the issue price across all categories, including IMFL. What are IMFLs? Indian made foreign liquor, right? And then of course, beer and wine. Right, so here the margins are higher than that in Delhi. 
here the uh, the process similar privatization uh, and uh, private licenses being uh, given to uh, the, the uh, players and there is a bidding process all these are same for both but here there is a state control right there was no state control if you looked at both the policies uh, the, the the you know as so the delhi government is concerned the state government decided they won't be part of it any longer so therefore government interference was zero initially there could have been kickbacks and all that stuff but ultimately it was being run by the private vendors and, and uh, the delhi state government got out of it the revenue increased and all the bureaucratic bureaucratic issues corruption all that over a period of time would have been phased out completely but here the state government of andhra pradesh actually still controls uh, almost everything and they talk about this being a private uh, buying being a privatization process right so that is the so you can see uh, what exactly is happening here right now when you let us look at the consumer experience and operational hours in delhi the focus on is on providing in walk in experience for consumers liquor shops had to be air conditioned uh, they got out of these ghettos and then you know they were they had to be they had to have glass doors and and completely modernize the shopping experience there was extended operational hours up till 3 am for bars hotels and you know restaurants they introduced take away services for draft beer and promoted micro breweries in andhra pradesh the operational hours for shops are from 10 am to 10 pm it allows for premium and model stores with more facilities such as accessories related to liquor the focus is less on the modern retail experience more on balanced revenue generation model that's exactly what the andhra pradesh government claims right and so what led to the political fallout in the delhi liquor policy and uh, how do you see the andhra pradesh policy responding to this like are there any uh signs of them you know be playing it a bit more carefully after what happened with the delhi liquor policy so it's a good question actually uh now let let us look at it okay the the policy of the delhi government uh, was scrapped in july 2022 following allegations of corruption procedural lapses and uh, undue financial benefit to the uh, aap government uh, which runs the uh, delhi state now there have been enforcement directed raids there have been cbi inquiries uh, the chief minister was jailed the deputy chief minister was jailed and a few others were jailed and till now uh, and as per the supreme court order nothing has been proved right uh, and uh, and therefore these people were let off on bail right now let, uh, I, let me emphasize it again here uh please do understand that the uh, delhi government decided to go away from the liquor industry they wanted to be uh, completely cut out of that industry here the state here the andhra pradesh government still controls almost everything right um so pretty obvious there's always this possibility of uh, bureaucratic delays and a whole lot of other issues i'm not saying that uh there will there will be corruption and all that what i'm saying is that um when a sto- state government decides to get out of an industry which it controlled earlier there are less chances of it uh, being manipulated right uh so that that's the point i'm trying to make <clears throat> right and considering the store formats operational hours and uh, retail features how do you uh see the consumer experience uh, differ like between uh, the delhi liquor policy and also the andhra liquor policy uh see liquor in india uh, has always traditionally been seen as uh, something that uh, uh, you know you will have some uh, you know uh, places which are very dirty Uh, the, the 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 retail stores are not well lit and there are in areas which is which is when people actually don't go there very often uh, and therefore uh, there are barriers uh, in terms of uh, uh, consumer experience the delhi government decided that they want to take those barriers out 
uh, all these retail stores will 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 have a modern look will be in major shopping centers and where where anybody a woman or a man can go and buy uh, without feeling ashamed of going through that consumer experience um, i'm not sure whether it's going to happen with the andhra pradesh government but the, the the consumer experience they wanted to have a very elevated kind of experience all right mm -hmm. they they wanted to have those micro breweries and stuff like that where um on your way back home uh you could you know uh, you could go ahead and buy uh, liquor uh, um, until three o'clock in the morning now well the, these are the incentives to ensure that there is uh, more revenue out of it at the same time there could be issues with regard to uh, yeah, yeah, you know safety issues and it could be issues where you know uh, you know people might uh, might bend rules and stuff like that what prevents a retail store uh, to exceed the uh, time from say 3 am to 5 am like that you know there, there is always this kind of an issue because the the government can't be policing this uh, right through the entire uh, midnight till morning right so th there is always this chance of rules being broken rules being you know the rules being broken rules being bent and all that stuff okay mm -hmm. um, but here the, the state government says it's just for 12 hours 10 am to 10 pm and that's it <clears throat> so right. uh, so there are there are there are certain positives of the andhra pradesh uh, new liquor policy as well we need to find out how it will play out we need maybe a year later if the same discussion were to happen we'll get to know whether the andhra pradesh new state liquor policy has actually benefited the andhra pradesh government in terms of revenue it did benefit the delhi government okay uh, so uh, thank you so much for taking the time to compare the two policies and uh, shed light on it thanks Giri. The Federal and Devaki Speciality Hospital jointly present the Madurai Marathon 2024 Run for Health on Sunday, October 20th, 2024. Entry is free for all.